in this video session we will study ill effect of hard water um, basically due to the unsuitable water the major problems arises in boiler heat water are number one is corrosion second is priming and cooling third is scale and sludge formation and fourth one is caustic embrittlement in this video we will learn the ill effect of boiler heat water first one is corrosion after watching this video you will be able to understand how this corrosion will affect to the boiler fluid water okay what are their causes now what is exactly meant by the corrosion corrosion means destruction of metal due to chemical or electrochemical reaction is known as what corrosion for example suppose twice metal metal plus oxygen then there is a formation of twice metal oxide film at the top surface of metal then it is known as whatever corrosion corrosion means what destruction of metal due to chemical or electrochemical reaction is known as corrosion basically boiler metal which is made up from whatever mild steel and mild steel is also containing what iron or trace quantity of manganese right these are the metals are present so metal if comes in contact with oxygen then there is a formation of what twice metal oxide film right so this is the corroded portion if the corrosion is going to take place then it resulting into formation of small pores small holes at the inner surface of the boiler then it also resulting into leakage of the joint even the efficiency of boiler it can be decrease okay now there are three different reasons for the corrosion first one is number one is dissolved oxygen okay o2 number two is dissolved carbon dioxide co2 and number three is hydrolysis of salt hydrolysis of salt so these are the three main responsible factors for the corrosion suppose dissolved oxygen boiler fluid water if containing dissolved oxygen so metal plus oxygen it converted into what metal oxide film again another example is twice fe plus O2 oxygen, iron plus oxygen plus twice H2. Then there is a formation of twice FeOH twice ferrous hydroxide. Precipitate is obtained, right? Ferrous plus oxygen twice H2 converted into what? Ferrous hydroxide. Now this four FeOH twice in presence of O2. then there is a formation of twice fe2o3 dot twice h2 precipitate is obtained this ferrous is converted into what ferrite right metal plus oxygen formation of metal oxide film and iron for example as mild steel is made up from the iron <coughs> so iron plus o2 dissolved oxygen twice h2 then there is a formation of what ferrous hydroxide precipitate and this ferrous hydroxide precipitate plus o2 converted into what ferrite so in this way dissolved oxygen is responsible for the corrosion now how the dissolved oxygen can be removed from the boiler fluid water basically dissolved oxygen it can be removed from the boiler fluid water by addition of three different chemicals which one number one is na2so3 right number two is na2s and number three is na2h4 first one is sodium sulfide second one is sodium sulfide and third one is hydrazine so these are the three different chemicals which is added into the boiler fluid water and they can easily remove the oxygen so twice na2so3 plus o2 then there is a formation of na2so4 sodium sulfate is obtained and oxygen is removed 
from the boiler feed water. Then Na2S plus twice O2 converted into Na2SO4. Right? Sodium sulfate is obtained, and in this way, it can be removed from the boiler feed water. Hydrazine plus O2. Then it is converted into N2 plus H2O. So due to addition of Na2SO3, Na2S, and hydrazine, the dissolved oxygen present in boiler feed water it can be easily removed. Now you remember this one. Corrosion means what? Destruction of metal due to chemical or electrochemical reaction is known as what? Corrosion. Boiler feed water undergoes the corrosion because your boiler is made up from what? Mild steel, right? And due to the corrosion, it also resulting into what? Leakage of the joints, small holes or the small pores can be created at the inner side or inner surface. It also resulting into the explosion, even decrease the efficiency of the boiler metal, right? There are three main responsible factors for the corrosion. First one is dissolved oxygen, dissolved carbon dioxide, and hydrolysis of salt. Dissolved oxygen, right? So metal plus oxygen in form metal oxide film, right? So how the oxygen can be removed? Removal of oxygen in the boiler with water, it can be done by addition of three different chemicals. Which one? Number one is sodium sulfide, sodium sulfide, and hydrazine. These are the three different chemicals which is added into the boiler with water and dissolved oxygen can be removed right and obviously it can prevent the formation of what corrosion so sodium sulfide plus oxygen gives sodium sulfate sodium sulfide plus twice o2 gives sodium sulfate hydrazine plus oxygen gives n2 plus h2o in this way the dissolved oxygen in boiler feed water can be easily removed now the second important point is dissolved carbon dioxide See, if your water sample containing the carbon dioxide, actually carbon dioxide, it is one of the acidic gas and carbon dioxide comes in contact with water, right? CO2 plus H2O, then there is a formation of H2CO3, this is called as what? Carbonic acid. So carbon dioxide, if it is present in your water sample, then that carbon dioxide immediately converted into what? Carbonic acid. CO2 acidic gas plus H2 formation of carbonic acid. And due to the formation of the carbonic acid, the rate of corrosion going, going on increase, right? So how the carbon dioxide, it can be removed from the boiler pit water? Carbon dioxide, it can be removed by addition of liquid ammonia. See, CO2 plus twice NH3 ammonia, right? Plus H2O, right? So there is a formation of ammonium carbonate, okay? So this is NH4 twice CO3, okay? So there is formation of what? Ammonium carbonate. So if the ammonium carbonate is formed, then no corrosion is going to take place, right? See, the important point is dissolved carbon dioxide is also responsible for the corrosion. How? Because carbon dioxide it is an acidic gas. In presence of water, it is converted into a carbonic acid, right? To prevent the formation of carbon dioxide to carbonic acid, you are going to add what? Liquid ammonia. For the removal of carbon dioxide, liquid ammonia can be added. So carbon dioxide plus liquid ammonia in presence of water converted into what? Ammonium carbonate. In this way, the dissolved carbon dioxide, it can be easily removed from the boiler feed water, right? Then, third important point is hydrolysis of salt. Hydrolysis of salt is also responsible for formation of what? Corrosion. Suppose, your water samples containing the dissolved salt, which is the dissolved salt is present in your water sample, for example, magnesium chloride, MgCl2, okay? Then, if this magnesium chloride is present, it can undergo the hydrolysis reaction by H2, then it is converted into magnesium hydroxide, MgOH twice precipitate. So this magnesium hydroxide